I'm going to watch Suburban Nights Part 1 for the first time. Product placement. plane out of your pocket. Because <laughs> that'd be awesome. I really dig your get up, man. It's very Matrix meets Matrix Reloaded. Do you ever see those movies? That's beautiful, man. It's the way you had it. Chicago, the Windy City. They should be too far out of the way. I just program this into my GPS. Bloody thing to work. <laughs> uh, according to this, it should be 2,000 miles. No, that can't be right. Let me just fix this. No, I do not want to go to Lake Okeechobee. You know, my mom always said, only so many times a man can drive into a lake. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me five times, shame on the GPS. Awesome! I think I got it! So what part of Chicago are you going to? You're using that? Well, yeah! Don't use that. Why not? Just don't. Dude, I get everywhere with this thing! I'd be totally lost without it! It's bad enough you have to imprison yourself in this technological death trap. But now you sacrifice your own sense of direction? Your intuition? Your own means of travel is determined by wires and electric highways, circuits to destruction. You will make no decisions for yourself. You hand over everything to these mechanical wonders, and for all their digital prestigitation, you become no smarter for it. You enter this world empty, and you will leave this world empty. Dude, did I say something wrong, or? What do you think of the 21st century, Mr. Bill? Bill. Bill. What do you think of the 21st century? Bill. Well, it's all right. I mean, like, Gaga's a little weird now, but I think it's pretty solid. You enjoy it? Yeah. Would you swear by it? Sure. Would you give up everything you own for it? That doesn't make much sense. Everything I own is in the 21st century, man. Oh, no, it isn't. There's one other thing that you own that the 21st century hasn't given you. And it can be taken away very, very easily. Do you want to take it away? No. <laughs> Dude, what are you on? Because I totally want some. <laughs> oh, gosh! <laughs> <laughs> he just walks away. Nice.
course is directed and edited by him. I'm not supposed to be that happy. Hello good sir! How are you today? Well, um... Uh, I don't know! I just want to break up! <laughs> okay, never mind. He has no reason to be that happy. face all smiley it's something to be all oh boy a movie Research on this gauntlet, and it turns out it really exists. 
Apparently there was some sort of ancient jewel that you placed on the gauntlet that was rumored to make it indestructible. So you think that by finding it, we can take control of its magical powers? Hell no, there's no such thing as magic. <laughs> but if we find this thing, it can be worth a fortune. People would pay through the nose to get a look at it. But what does it matter, even if it is worth a bundle? We have no idea where it is or how to find it. On the contrary. Oh. I found the map that Jeffers made. The king knew where it was. The king left clues. All you have to do is just play a stupid game he created. A game that will lead us directly to the comet. But this is all written in rhymes and riddles. How are we supposed to figure it all out? <laughs> That's the catch. And you heard on the news, Jaffers was this gigantic geek. And apparently he rigged this as a role-playing game in order to find it. Everybody has to get dressed up and act like a fantasy character in order to figure out what these riddles mean. So you mean it's just a game? Well, really, the only rule is to figure out the riddles on the map. But you're more likely to figure it out if you're engulfed in some sort of fantasy character. So if you're totally in touch with wizards, dragons, and all that crap, the more likely you are to figure this out and find the treasure. So it's like LARPing. No, it's just a bunch of dorks dressing up and fighting for a fake reward. Well, we're a bunch of dorks dressing up and fighting for a real reward. Exactly. So what kind of characters do we dress up as? Anything, as long as it has something to do with a quest-related fantasy world. Now, the map says here that there are two paths to it, so if we split up into two teams, that'll increase our chances of finding it. And you honestly think this is going to pay off? My friends, after all this is over, we will not only have a ton of money, but our names will also be placed in the book of destiny. Names will be remembered, quests will become legends, and legends will become legendary. <laughs> we are standing on the threshold of greatness, of glory, and all we need to do is to take that first step. So what say you? My proud warriors. Hey! If you don't go, you're all fired! Oh. Hey, Antonio, who are you talk to? <laughs> hey there, Mr. Critic. I got you your coffee. Get with the program, Film Gray. Luke already got me a latte. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna take this point to pause since I'm running out of minutes. Yeah, I got a few minutes, a few seconds left. Catch on the flip side, if that's actually still being used.